I was targeted by my first trafficker when I was only 17 years old. You can't just exit that lifestyle. So when I decided to leave him, that's when he assaulted me and left me for dead. I'm in so much pain, it hurts. My name is Sadbi Sidali Shri. I've struggled with PTSD not only from serving as an army medic, but from repressed childhood trauma that came flooding back. I know pain. I always wanted to help others that had gone through similar anguish. I wanted to say whatever until I could get away. And I go into my room, uh, he had nailed all the windows shut. There was another girl that was trying to do the same thing and he found out and he said, we're gonna take a trip. He put her into a dog cage and started beating her. And he said, that's what happens when you try to run. It was never, I don't want to have this baby. He is what saved me from going right back to that lifestyle. And I have never been the same person I was before my son as I was after I found out I have him. Everybody's story may be different, but the pain inside is still the same. I just sat in the hospital and realized, like, this is not the way to live. Anything that I did to get me to this point has to die. What about the journey that we have to take? Nobody understands that struggle. They think once we're rescued, we're healed, that's it, done. I can't remember a lot of things, <laughs> like memories of me and my family. I'm not afraid of him. I'm afraid of dealing with those emotions of my past. Escaping is never the end of the story. How do survivors of such horrific events move forward with their lives and heal? Will we ever heal?